Hey guys, it's Aria, and in this video, I'm going to share with you my tips for the ACT science section. The first thing I want to say is you've probably heard this many times before. You don't need to be great at science and know a lot of science to do very well in this section. I think it's a very common misconception that you need to be in like an AP science class or like AP biology or AP chemistry to know um, a lot of the background for this section, but you really don't. This section tests your ability to read graphs and charts very quickly. My first tip is in regards to the background information and the passages that they give you. Um, so the science section, it usually gives you like a two paragraph passage and then a bunch of data like graphs and charts that the questions are based off of. A lot of people say that you can just skip the passage and just look at the graphs and charts. However, in my experience, that never works because if you don't read the background information, you're just going to be lost in what the questions are asking and what the data actually represents. However, only skim the information in the passages for background information about the topic um, that you need to understand what the graphs and data are telling you. Um, don't look for specific details, otherwise it's just going to slow you down and the questions are usually based off of the graphs and charts anyway, so you don't need to know the details in the passage in order to be able to get all of the questions correct. This tip kind of goes along with what I said in my ACT reading videos. Um, skim the passage but don't go looking for details unless they ask for it because you're not going to be able to remember the details if they ask for it they'll be very easy to find and in regards to this section the science section most of the questions like i said are based off of the graphs and charts anyway so you really just need to understand the background information and not any specific details so don't waste your time looking for details a lot of people do they try to understand every single word and every single detail and you don't need to know that but definitely understand the main idea in my opinion, this is actually the most time pressured section on the ACT. A lot of people think it's the ACT reading section and it's, it's all based on opinion, but for me, I've always found this section to be the hardest to time manage. So you really wanna make sure that you're not getting too caught up on anything. Now, my second tip is in regards to understanding the graphs and charts. They are gonna throw some really weird looking graphs, data tables and charts at you. I have seen them before and they're very hard to understand sometimes. So my biggest tip for you is to go through previous ACT passages in the real ACT um, prep book or in my past videos and I can link it again. There's a bunch of free um, passages available or free ACT tests available on Prep Scholar. So I will link that down below and you can go through and look at the ACT science graphs. Um, make sure you can really try to understand every type of graph they've thrown out before because chances are there'll be similar looking ones on your next test. Um, but there usually aren't the types of graphs that you see in like a biology or chemistry class. Um, and the data is a little bit harder to analyze sometimes because that's really what they're testing. And getting used to these graphs really just takes practice. The more ACT passages that you do, the more used to these graphs you'll get. And then the more used to it you feel, the less intimidated you'll be when you see a new type of graph that you've never seen before in class or in a previous um, ACT passage. I think a lot of times people get tripped up um, on a graph that they've like never seen before, but most people haven't seen these types of graphs before. And you'll know what I'm talking about if you go through these passages and look at some of these graphs and charts that they show you. Um, but like I said, the more practice tests that you do, the more familiar you'll be with them and then you'll understand what they're trying to show. Now my next couple tips are um, in regards to timing, because like I said, in my opinion, this is the most time pressured section. If a question takes you more than like 20 seconds to figure out, just skip it because the passages don't go and the questions don't go from easy to hard. Like they don't increase in difficulty and every single question counts for the same amount of points. So if a question is really like tripping you up, if you just try to spend more and more time on it, which you, you might not even get it in the end anyway, if you spend like 30 seconds to a minute on it, but even if you do get it, that's like three more questions you could have gotten right in the meantime that you probably won't get to now. Every single question counts for the same amount of points. It doesn't matter the difficulty. So if you're getting really tripped up on something, don't let it slow you down because you'll regret it. My next tip is to save the like multiple scientist perspective passage. You know what I'm talking about. The one with a lot of reading where they offer like different viewpoints from multiple students or multiple scientists. I would save that till the end because it does involve the most reading, the most um, like analyzing of text instead of graphs and charts, which are usually a little faster to analyze than reading. 
Um, so I would save that one for the end. Spend your time on the graphs and charts one, get all of those done, and then spend your remaining time on the multiple perspective sciences passage. And then in regards to how to time yourself, um, I think there's six passages on the science section. You have 35 minutes. So when you're doing your practice test, force yourself to only spend five minutes, six minutes max maybe if you're just starting out um, on each passage. Don't let yourself go over because the more time you spend on one, like I said before, you're just taking time away from the other passages, which might be easier than the one you're on and you could be getting more points. So spend five, like six minutes maximum and then just move on to the next one. And the more you practice like this um, while taking your practice tests at home, the faster you will be on test day. And as I said in my reading videos too, if you happen to finish a passage in four minutes and 30 seconds instead of five minutes, don't spend the remaining 30 seconds on that passage checking your answers or something. You're not gonna really find anything in 30 seconds. You might be able to check one answer. Move on to the next passage because you might need those 30 seconds later. Um, so if you finish early on a passage, just move on. That's just the motto with the science section, keep going. And as always, my biggest tip is to just use previously administered ACT tests to practice. Um, use the real ACT prep book. Um, I've shown it many times in my other videos and I will link um, the free practice test below in the description. So feel free to check out those and those are just gonna be your best resource. If you use other tests, not that they're bad in any way, I'm sure they're great, but just the previously administered ones are gonna be most like the ones you're gonna see on test day. So those are just really your best resource. And that's it on my tips for the ACT science section. Um, I know I've had more tips on like math, reading, and English because I was a little bit stronger in those sections um, and there's just more advice to give. But to whoever requested this video, I hope this was helpful and I hope this helped other people too. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments what you want me to make in the future. Subscribe for more ACT and college content.